Hello and welcome to Auten Math. In this edition of Auten Math, we're once again going to take care of a lesson and also a practice in the same video. So we're going to talk about transitive and substitution properties as a lesson, and then go right into a practice problem. So what is the transitive property and what is substitution? All right, so there are two parts of the transitive property. First part is if I say that A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then I can say that A is equal to C. Now transitive property and substitution are very similar. So in this case I have if A is equal to B, B is equal to C, then I can say that A is equal to C. So there's some chain or there's some linking between the two and that chain or link is going to be the middle portion of uh, the chain or the link in the equality which would be B. So I can say if A is equal to B or A is congruent to B in this case, line segment A is congruent to B, and line segment B is congruent to C, then I can draw the conclusion that A is congruent to C. So I want you to spell or to write in reasons for two column proofs. I want you to write the entire reason out, not just transitive property. So you can say if angles or segments are congruent to the same angle or segment, then they are congruent to each other. The second part of the transitive property says that if A is equal to B, and C is equal to D, and B is equal to D, then A is equal to C. So now we're just adding one more link in the, the chain of equality or congruence between angles or segments. So I know if I say if angle A is congruent to B and C is congruent to D, and then I say also that B and D are congruent, so there's my third link, then I can say that angle uh, A is equal to angle C, or right? A is congruent to angle C. So again, if I have A congruent to B, C congruent to D, and B congruent to D, then I can say by the transitive property, if angles or segments, in this case, if angles are congruent to congruent angles, if angles are congruent to congruent angles, then they are congruent to each other. Now substitution uses similar reasoning. In substitution, I'm going to say if A is equal to B and A is less than C, then B, because it's equal to A, must also be less than C. So in a two column proof, you might say something like this. A is equal to B, that's given. A is less than C, that's given. So therefore, B is less than C. And in this case, you can just write the substitution property. So all we're doing Given the equality of A and B, we're just substituting B for A. All right, now let's take a look at a problem using some of the things that we've learned before and also uh, substitution in the transitive property. All right, so we're asked to find all possible values of X if X is the measure of an angle that satisfies the following set of conditions. The angle must have a complement and three-fourths of the supplement of the angle must have a complement as well. So let's take the first piece. The angle must have a complement. Okay, if the angle has a complement, then the angle x must be between 0 and 90 because the complement right, would complement that angle to 90 degrees. So the angle must be less than 90 degrees or be between 0 and 90 degrees. The second part says that three-fourths of the supplement of the angle must have a complement. So three-fourths of the supplement of an angle must have a complement. That means that three-fourths of the supplement, here's the supplement, of the angle must have a complement. So that value three-fourths of 180 minus x must be between 0 and 90 as well. So if we solve for x in this case, we find out that x must be between 60 and 180 degrees. So we have two restrictions. One is that x must be between 0 and 90, and the other that x must be between 60 and 180. So if x has to be between uh, both 0 and 90 and 60 and 180, we can say that x is between 60 degrees and 90 degrees. And uh, those are the restrictions on x. So x is, again, between 60 and 90 degrees.